So I got this new slashing LeBron type bill, right? Becoming one of my favorite bills, if not my favorite bill that I done made, because he can do some everything. He can shoot, you know what I'm saying? He can defend real well, especially in the paint. You know, I ain't really got no high steals with him, but I, hey, I don't really need, I don't reach like that. And then, of course, you know he gonna get on that rim, so he can shoot, dunk, defend, you know what I'm saying? And he can get rebounds, you know what I'm saying, when he need to. So, sometimes it's just so frustrating, people just quit, you know what I'm saying? They just give up and just don't even want to play no more. So, we're gonna get into this video. I already made a jump shot video on him, but I'm gonna show y'all how I built this player and why he's a catfish build. All right, so we're in the builder. Of course, we're gonna go point guard, you know what I'm saying? I like running the offense, plus when you're playing with randoms, it's just... You know, uh, I don't trust randoms at point guard. Sometimes they might put me at shooting guard at times, but it is what it is at that point. But I go left-handed. Don't ask me why. I just like putting left-handed players this year. You know what I'm saying? I do it randomly every year. Number two, because that's my number. Uh, I'm 6'8". Now, you can make this build 6'9", if you want to, so you can get limitless takeoff in tier two. But I did this for a reason. I'm going to show y'all why, why I made him 6'8", and stuff like that. 230 for the uh, weight because I wanted that 87 strength. Yes, I made sure I used all my strength on this player because I wanted him to be strong. Plus, it'd be the strongest player I made on this game. And I wanted to see what the difference was low strength and high strength is because people always, you know what I'm saying, trying to compare the two. Uh, body shape really don't matter. I just put compact. All right, so close shot. You know what I'm saying? I got it on 70. So when I get in that standing layup position, you know, uh, when I'm standing on the go, it'll be, you know, it'll make a good. I wish I could have made it 80, but hey. Had to do what I had to do, so I took my 70. My 85 driving layup, I shouldn't have to tell y'all that. You know what I'm saying? I, when I get contact, when I try to get my contact dunks, this is really not even for just laying the ball up and making it. It's for really when I make contact with people and those to go in more often and for me to get that fearless finisher. I wish I could have got it gold, but I couldn't. I only could get the silver. I think I had to hit it to a 90 to get it uh, gold, I think. Now, I can't. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then, you know, for those times when they bump you out the air when you try to go for a contact dunk, of course, which... Goes to driving dunk. I have a 93 driving dunk for I think it's slithery, not slithery, but a uh, limitless takeoff is on go. You get posterized on go. You know what I'm saying with 93 uh, driving dunk. Got a 50 standing dunk, so I get rise up on bronze, and I definitely give me some standing dunks uh, with this 50 uh, dunk. So hey, this is definitely more than enough. Uh, post control don't even matter. Um, now. Yeah, even though this is a LeBron type build, we ain't got no post control. <laughs> and also, we don't have much mid range. We got a 63 mid range. But I will say this once your takeover start going up and they leave you wide open and you know your shot, you definitely can knock down some mid ranges with a freaking 60. I done knocked down plenty of 60. I'm uh, not 60, <laughs> but plenty of mid ranges with this 63. You know what I'm saying? Because you know your, uh, your, what you call it goes up. Yo, um, your mid-range goes up as your takeover goes up. You know what I'm saying? So that 63 is good. Now that's 78-3. Now this is the probably the most che the cheesiest rating I have on this player. Cause you will look at some of my shot percentages with this dude. You be like, dang nigga, you got you gotta have at least an 80 something, 84, 83. You know what I'm saying? But I only got a 78 three-pointer with this dude, right? And I be making three-pointers like crazy, but it's because I know that Rudy, Rudy Gay shot to the T now. You know what I'm saying? I done figured it out so good now. You know, that's like my main jump shot. That's what I use with this build. I'm going to start using it with my other taller builds that have a higher three-point percentage. But I love that Grudy Gay shot. Is, uh, in my, you know what I'm saying? It, uh, like I said, it makes this build a catfish build as it is because I can tie my shot. Because trust me, there's a difference between, you know, you know your shot with a 78.3 and actually having a 78.3 and having a bad jump shot. So, anyway. Or not, have, not, not being able to time it. But anyway, I got an 85 free throw. You know what I'm saying? 83 pass accuracy is my new favorite pass accuracy because it's not too high and it actually saves you enough uh, rating to do other stuff. So with this 83 uh, pass accuracy, I ain't got to worry about it being on 85. That way I have a lot more room to do other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So 83 is de definitely good enough. You know what I'm saying? That's my sweet spot for pass accuracy this year. 89 ball handle. Okay, this is why I made him 6 foot 8. Because at six foot nine, I think the highest you can make it is 87, which you can get gold quick first step. But y'all know with this 89, you get Hall of Fame quick step, right? Hall of Fame quick first step. I said quick step. Hall of Fame quick first step, right? So, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly why I made him six foot eight. Six foot eight with all this strength and dunking, and he get a, a Hall of Fame quick first step, and he can shoot threes. Come on now, a deadly combination. Speed with ball 77. You know, I need that 75 so I can get that Michael Jordan uh, dribble package. I don't even think I got it yet. I still ain't even got it with this player yet, so, you know, and it's cheesy already. Interior defense, I got it at 80, you know what I'm saying? Just enough for me to defend centers at times. 85 perimeter defense, you know what I'm saying? That's a great little balance to uh, defend the perimeter and stuff like that. And 50 steals because I didn't even touch my steals. I think it just went up with my perimeter defense and my interior defense. Honestly, I didn't even, you know, touch this. 
but I still get a lot of lane steals and all the types so that I just don't reach as much. And when I do sometimes, I try to make sure I reach at the perfect time when I get a bump steal, it'll work then. 84 block is great, you know what I'm saying? You get an uh, anchor on a uh, bronze. And honestly, bro, I think not just having bronze anchor, but actually having high, the higher your block rating, and then I noticed that you definitely get more blocks. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about number by number, like a difference between 83 and 84 to me, you know what I'm saying, is uh, is just increasing your chances, of course, of getting blocks. I have hardly no offensive rebounds, but somehow still get them, uh, even though I get them little dumb animations trying to get the rebound. I got a 75 defensive rebound, but I also always... I ain't gonna say always. I get a lot of snags on people, and I'm gonna get to why I probably do that later in just in just a second. Uh, I got an 80 speed, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, 80 speed is like the uh, I feel like a perfect little medium for you to have on defense and just running off ball. 75 acceleration is maxed out, you know, because I need all the acceleration I can when I uh, dribble the ball and get do my little speed boost. Strength 87, like I said, and I've noticed a lot of animations on defense where I bump people and stuff like that that I don't get. You know what I'm saying? With my other players that have low strength. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you have to have high strength. But I've just been seeing a difference with my guy and all this type of stuff. And brick wall definitely knocks people uh, stamina down when you're playing on defense uh, or they run into you. So, I actually like brick wall. And that's a freaking offensive badge, basically. I mean, an offensive badge. That's like you're supposed to be setting a screen, you know what I'm saying, type of badge anyway. But it definitely helps. Other than just setting screen, hard screens, it definitely helps with knocking people uh, stamina down. 82 vertical because I need them elite uh, contact dunks because I think the bare minimum is 82 with your vertical in order for you to get those elite contact dunks with their 93, you know what I'm saying, driving dunks. So I have to have that and it also explains why I probably still get a lot of snags with my defensive rebound. And I'm not even maxed out on my vertical yet. You know what I'm saying? I think my vertical on like an 80 or a 77 or an 80, something like that. It's not even maxed out at 82 yet. So I ain't even got the elite contact dunks yet. And of course, we're going to go 95 uh, stamina. And as you can see by the badge layout, 16, 12, 23, and 70, uh, 17. Now, I'm going to get to how he look currently, you know what I'm saying, because that's not how my badge layout look right now, because I think I put all five on finishing. So, of course, I went double finishing moves. I've tried easy blow buys, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. I really didn't like it. I didn't I ain't even touch advanced gathers. You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't messed up about uh, you know, extreme clamps, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and stuff blocks. Because like I said, I made this to be a slasher build. And plus, like I said, my defense is going to be straight anyway. You know, so anyway, moving on to the name. So what is this build called? Going to complete the build. So they gave me Cade Cunningham, Lonzo, and LaMelo, of course. But guess what they called me? They call me a slasher. So guess what? When people see my build, they automatically think I can't shoot. So they sag off and they swag me off. You know what I'm saying? And then I be knocking them threes down. And I got a tutorial on how to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I ain't going to say tutorial. I'm going to give a, a tip video on how to make you more shots as a slasher and a lower type, you know, three-point rating. What's the key to making those shots? And you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, I'm going to show y'all what he looks like right now. All right, so we over here at the attributes and stuff like that. This is where I'm at right now. I got a 46 close shot, so I haven't even experienced my good close shot rating. I got all my, my driving layup uh, is maxed out. I got a 90 uh, driving dunk right now. It's not even at that 93 yet, so I haven't you know been able to get my contact dunk. I got a 42-3. I mean, not 42-3. A 42 mid-range. I actually been knocking some mid-ranges down. That's what's funny about this. I ain't even maxed out my mid-range yet. I got a 78-3. Of course, I had to max that out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, free throw 84, that don't really matter. Pass accuracy maxed out. I just maxed out my ball handle. So now I finally get to experience the Hall of Fame quick first step with this build. I haven't even been able to do it yet in any of my videos, anything. So be on the lookout for that. 74 speed with ball, still ain't got the Michael Jordan uh, uh, dribble style. And all this stuff pretty much maxed out well, except for steal and blocks. My blocks ain't even maxed out. And I got them crazy block animations, you know what I'm saying? So just wait till I get anchor and get this stuff up. It's going to be crazy. And all my physical is pretty much maxed out, except for my uh, strength. It's an 80, 80. So I lied. My vertical is an 82. So my, that's why I'm getting them rebound. That explains it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I got an 80 strength. I ain't even got my full 87 yet. And, of course, that's my stamina. Now, as far as badges, I have 21 finishing badges. 21. Can you do something for me? Nah, shut up. But, nah, but uh, I got 21 uh, finishing badges. Uh, I got them 12. Um, you know, I maxed out my finishing badge. I got 9 out of 12. On my shooting 17 out of 23 on playmaking and 16 out of 17 on my defensive so i'm almost maxed out on those as well but hey man and i got a, a badge of gray right here from an, another game in three playmaking dang i didn't even know i had that shoot but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video man hit that like button subscribe if you're new 
hit that bell for the notifications. If you want to see the jump shot video I have for this build, I'm going to leave right here in the middle of the screen. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.